Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm Kim McDowell, and I teach math here at Brooks. I am also the dorm parent to an amazing young set of women in Het West, and I am one of the teach or one of the coaches of an energetic, fun, and talented JV field hockey team. Oh, and I'm Molly's mom, the, ch the favorite child. <laughs> um, I've been teaching for over 30 years, but this is only my third year here at Brooks. Honestly, it's taken me a while to feel like part of the community. My family and I arrived in 2019, and we had about six months before the pandemic hit. Obviously, that wasn't easy for anyone. For those of you who are struggling a bit to make Brooks feel like home, I feel your pain. It can be a hard adjustment for sure, but don't give up. This is a good place. Brooks is worth your efforts, I promise. As Mrs. Waters mentioned last Thursday, Brooks values empathy, engagement, integrity, confidence, passion, and creativity. Courage is on that list as well. We are thoughtfully building community by focusing on these core values. Today, I want to suggest an ingredient that can help us build community here at Brooks, prayer. I know that may not be the answer you're expecting, but let me explain. Before I begin, I want to acknowledge that not everyone is like me. I happen to be Catholic, and as my students know, I was educated by Jesuit priests. Not everyone in this chapel is Catholic, or Christian, or a believer. For me, God and Jesus are who I pray to, but really, it's the spirit of love in the universe, as Mr. Chapman says so beautifully. So I hope that even if we don't share a common faith, you can, connect, you can connect to what I'm saying. Today, excuse me. Today, prayer is one of the most important things in my life, but it hasn't always been that way. Let me just say that I have had a very tumultuous relationship with prayer. When I was a little girl, I remember Sister Bernadette telling us in Sunday school that if we didn't pray every day, we were going straight to hell. I was so worried that I went straight home and tried to make up for lost, excuse me, tried to make up for lost time by praying the afternoon away. When my mom realized what I was doing, she was furious, and she had some choice words for Sister Bernadette. Then I worried my mom was going to hell for swearing at a nun, but that's another story. Of course, like most Catholics, I know the big prayers, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, a good act of contrition. Praying the rosary is something I can do, but it doesn't fulfill me like it did my Aunt Eileen. It wasn't until I truly heard my own inner voice, as Gandhi wrote about and Amy read so well, that I started praying regularly and constantly. This continual prayer is my source of peace, peace something we all want and need desperately. By the way, you can't pray wrong. Everyone needs to find what works for them, and I promise you the benefits will be many. For me, prayer connects me to something bigger than myself, and there are so many times that I need to get the attention off myself and look outward at you and the world. For me, prayer gives me a place to say thank you for all the blessing in my life, which are in abundance every single day, a plethora, if you will. For me, prayer helps me look at areas in my life that I need to improve upon, like my tendency to complain, my impatience, and sometimes my indulgence and self-pity. For me, prayer helps me give people the benefit of the doubt, and prayer moves me to forgiveness faster than I can do by myself. For me, prayer helps me acquire new respect for other people's dignity, especially those people I don't agree with. When I feel helpless, I pray. Someone I love dearly was just diagnosed with cancer, and while we can't, excuse me, and while we wait for her treatment to begin, all I can do is pray for her and love her. When I am overwhelmed, I pray. Environmental concerns overwhelm me. I do my part, but I also pray about it. When people disappoint me, I pray. I love this country, but it can be really hard. I love the Catholic Church, and trust me, that can be really hard. I love Brooks, but sometimes even that is hard. 
I love myself, and that's shaky at best. Prayer helps me with all these things. Prayer helps me love and make peace when things are not perfect and when my expectations are not met. So turn up the volume on your own inner voice. Pay attention and know when and how to nourish that voice. In baseball, a perfect game is when one pitcher gets 27 outs without letting a batter get to first base. That and Jesus' life are the only perfect things I know in this world. So for me, realizing that, I read the Bible and I read daily devotions to help strengthen my inner voice. Just this morning, this is what I read. October 4th. The source of love in the universe is ready to offer assistance. All you have to do is ask. Never neglect this glorious source of strength within you. I don't know about you, but I really needed to hear that especially this morning as I was getting ready to share this really personal talk with you. So, how can prayer help us build a strong community here at Brooks? Well, the answer is quite simple. Prayer helps us love one another, and prayer helps us connect to the greater love in the world. It really is that simple. In the near future, we're going to have a prayer box with prayer cards in the back of the chapel. If you want to help design either of these items, please let me know. Also coming soon, our Christian fellowship team will start meeting on Wednesday mornings here in the chapel at 8.30 to pray over our community. All are welcome, and anyone and everyone can make prayer requests. Watch out for the emails. So in summary, prayer is something, prayer is another way to strengthen value and love in the Brooks community. One last thing. I want to share this poem with you. It reminds me that prayer isn't something that I have to add to my busy to-do list. Prayer is actually the strength that allows me to do my to-do list. The author is unknown. I got up early one morning and rushed into the day. I had so much to accomplish that I didn't have time to pray. Problems just tumbled about me and heavier came each task. Why doesn't God help me, I wondered. He answered, you didn't ask. I wanted to see joy and beauty, but the, but the day toiled on gray and bleak. I wondered why God didn't show me. He said, but you didn't seek. I tried to come into God's presence. I tried all my keys at the lock. God gently and lovingly chided, my child, you did not knock. I woke up early this morning and paused before entering the day. I had so much to accomplish that I had to take the time to pray. Thank you very much.